Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the plot function of the R programming language. In the video I'm going to use some example data that we can create here in lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that two new data objects appear at the top right of RStudio and our two data objects are called x1 and y1. And both of these data objects contain a vector of 1000 numeric elements. Now, if we want to plot these data, then we can apply the plot function, as you can see here in line 7 of the code. And within the plot function, we simply need to specify our two input vectors, x1 and y1. And we need to separate these two vectors with a comma. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom right of RStudio, a new plot appears. And this plot is containing a scatter plot of x1 and y1. Uh, or in other words, this plot is showing the correlation of these two variables. Now you can also see here in the plot that uh, the design of the plot is relatively simple and plain. So in the following examples, I'm going to show you how to modify the parameters of this plot and how to make this plot a little bit prettier. So in example two, I want to show you how to add a regression line to this plot. So if we would like to do that, we first need to create the plot, as you can see here in line 10. That's the same what we have done already before. And then we could apply the AB line function, as you can see here in line 11 of the code. And within the AB line function, we would have to specify uh, the regression slope that we want to create. So here in this case, we want to know the regression slope between y1 and x1. And then here I would also specify the color of, the, of this slope to be red. Now, if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom right in our plot, a regression line is added. And uh, this is visualizing the correlation of the two variables even better. Now, another example for the plot function that I want to show you is shown here in line 14 of the code. And in this case, we are plotting a density of one of our variables. So we are combining the plot function with the density function and then we are going to plot the density of the variable x1. So if you run this line of code, you can see that at the bottom right, a density plot is created and this is showing the distribution of our variable x1. So as you can see here, our variable x1 is following the normal distribution. Yeah, another thing that I want to show you, uh, which is also based on the density function in combination with the plot function is shown here in example four in line 17 and 18 of the code. So again, we are creating the plot that we have already created at the bottom right. And in line 18 of the code, we are adding another density, the density of y1. And uh, this can be done with uh, the lines function instead of the plot function. So the lines function is always used when we want to add a second density to our already created plot. So if you run this line of code, you can see that a second density is created um, here at the bottom right. So it, in other words, um, with the lines function, we can create a plot which is showing multiple densities in the same plot. Yeah, another example that I want to show you is shown here in example five of the code. And in this example, I'm showing you how to modify the main title and the axis labels of our plot. So as you can see here in the plot that we have created before, the main title is density default x equals to x1. This is not really pretty. So if you want to change that, you could apply the main argument within the plot function. And then we could also change the x and y labels 
of our axis and this is done by the by applying the xlab and the ylab arguments within the plot function so if you run line 21 to 24 of the code then you can see that our original scatter plot is created and what you also can see is that now we have changed our main title our y axis label and the x axis label so in the next example i want to show you how to reflect several groups in the same scatter plot by showing them in different colors and in different point symbols and um, in order to show that we first need to specify a grouping variable and that is what we can do here in line 27 of the code so if you run this line of code you can see that another variable is created here at the top right of r studio and this variable is containing ones and twos and uh, the two values are representing our group one and our group two so if we want to plot our data um, based on this grouping value then we can specify the color um, of our plot to be equal to the group and also we can specify the pch argument to be equal to group and um, if you run these lines of code you will see that at the bottom right a new scatter plot is created and here in this scatter plot the first group is represented by black dots and the second group is represented by red triangles now in the next example i also want to show you how to add a legend to this plot because always when you have several groups that you are showing in the same plot it makes a lot of sense to create a legend for this plot and this is what we can do here in example 7 of the code with the legend function and here within the legend function i'm specifying that i want to show the legend at the top left of our plot and uh, I'm, then i'm specifying the names of our two groups group one and group two and then i'm also specifying the colors and the point symbols of our legend so if you run these lines of code you can see at the bottom right that a legend is added to our plot which is representing group one and group two yeah, so in the final example of this video, I want to show you how to plot a function in the R programming language. And for that, we first need to create some new example data. So uh, in line 42 of the code, I'm going to create a sequence from minus 5 to 5. And then I'm applying to this sequence the cosinus function. And I'm storing these values, uh, the output of the cosinus function, in the variable y2. Yeah, and then we can apply our plot function as we did before in the examples before. We simply need to specify within the plot function our two input variables. And then you can see that the plot function is showing the cosinus function. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you in this video. So I hope you know a little bit better how to apply the plot function now. However, if you want to learn more about the plot function, you could also check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on the plot function. And in this tutorial, I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to the tutorial in the description of the video so you could check it out there and if you have liked the video of course i would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to get notifications about videos that i'm releasing in future that's it for today thanks a lot see you next time bye bye